Many of your courses in social studies are often history, or politics or economics or sociology. This one is we are going to come and we're going to talk about Donald Trump. We're going to look at him. We're going to listen to him. Oh, yeah. President Trump. Does that sound like? <laughs> and we're going to hear Trump from Trump. Hillary Clinton yeah. and about her and what she would bring to our nation and talk about her. So the real issues that are happening today, the Syrian refugees in Norway. <clears throat> what will you gain or what will you know by the end of the semester? Number one, <coughs> we are going to read and we're going to watch and we're going to analyze different media outlets from both politically liberal and conservative viewpoints. So we will, on one hand, take a look at some media outlets from, we'll say, the right side or conservative side, like the Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal generally would not be um, in favor of Hillary Clinton. Generally, in her policies. But then we will also read, for instance, the Minneapolis Red Star and Tribune, which is the left side of the equation, which would hate Donald Trump and love Hillary Clinton. And then we will watch some news programs from those on the left that like Hillary Clinton and are liberals. It should be ABC, NBC, CBS, CNBC, CNN. Most of the news outlets that you see on TV are very liberal. And then we also may take a look at some of them on the right side, like Fox News. Uh, we also might see Town Hall News, uh, The Young Conservative, or some that will be able to take a look at both sides of that. And the best thing for you, I think, is so that if you don't know who writes it, you're going to be able to distinguish from what viewpoint is this person writing this? Because they have something they want to show you or tell you, and it often isn't just the evidence. They want you to think a certain way. So that's what we'll be doing in here. We want to make sure we do two things. That as Christians, we're called to do this. We're called to have a, the scriptures in our hand and in our heart so that we would be able to take and see the world the way that God sees it. Whether it's our climate that we want to take care of the world he's given us. Whether it's nations going to war we are to pray, and we are to do what we can to bring about peace. When we need to take up the sword, it should be kind of last resort. This is what we have got to do to thwart to stop evil. So that is the approach that we are going to be taking in here and with what is going on.